Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Elstar VG coming at you with another YouTube video. And today we are back on some Madden NFL 20 Ultimate Team for you guys. Now today, ooh, I just hit a million coins. You see that in the top right? Bro, I went from 65k to 1.6 to 1 million 66,000 coins, man. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna keep stacking them coins, baby. We're gonna do solo battles, we're gonna grind, we're gonna stay above a milli. Uh and yeah, that's basically it. But this is not what this video is about. What this video is about. We have Jared Cook right now. As you know, he's in the lineup. Uh, what's his overall? He's like a 96 overall gauntlet player. We got him like two videos ago. And I've been playing some house rules with him. Low key, this dude is pretty good. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, he looks pretty. He doesn't look that good. 87 speed, 92 excels. Aight. Like, it's aight. 96 catch is obviously really good. 95 spec catch is really good. Obviously, that run block is atrocious. Catch traffic and short right running is okay, but could be better in that medium right running. It's not really where I would want it to be. And I noticed something that I actually thought of my tight end a lot more than I thought. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. Because this guy low-key sucks. So we're going to get rid of him. We got him for free. But we're going to downgrade him. Get rid of him. And we're going to get the man himself. 97 overall. Kellen Winslow. Now if you watched my last video about the team captain with Ryan Chazier. You'll know that I had Kellen Winslow floating around my item binder. I didn't go over him in any way. Because I was saving him for his own video. We're just going to create this man, and he's going to be an absolute beast for our squad. So let's go ahead and compare it. Well, actually, no. Actually, yeah, let's compare him right now, because he'll go down to a 92 after this. So you see, he's way better in, like, every single way, except for catching. And then once we power him up, it'll be the same. So 90 speed, which is plus 3. And then once I power him up, it'll be plus 6, because I don't have Jared Cook's power up. But once I power Winslow up, he'll be a 91 speed, plus Sprinter, which is plus 2 speed, which will be a 93. So it'll be plus 6 speed. And it'll be, actually he's losing acceleration, or is he? No, it'll be the same acceleration. So same acceleration plus 6 speed on Winslow. Same strength, um, same catching when I power him up. When I power him up, his CIT will be plus 4. His spec catch will be plus 4. His short route running will be plus 6. His medium will be plus 2. And his run block will be plus 3. So yeah. And he's the same height as him. So we're not losing anything. We're not losing height. We're not losing speed. We're not losing catching stats. We're not losing route running. We're not losing run block. So it's just a overall just good upgrade. I know what you're thinking. Like, well, why would you get Winslow? You can get Tony G. Or he has terrible run blocking. Like, no. I have George Kittle already. He has 86 run blocking. If I throw zone run on him, he'll go to 88 run blocking. So whenever I'm about to run the ball, just sub in George Kittle. He'll get the job done. And the reason why I didn't get Tony Gonzalez is, here, let me go over to the auction house real quick, and I'll show you guys why I didn't get Tony Gonzalez. All right, so here we are, right? So he's a 94, or he's a he has a 94 overall, plus he has a 98 overall. Now this is crazy expensive. I'm not about to pay this much. Sure, he'll be a goal 99. His stats are pretty much better. He just doesn't have the speed. He has the same height. Um, but if you really compare him, I mean, he's better than Winslow. But not by far. Like catching plus two, CIT plus three, short run running plus one. He's got him by, by a significant amount in the medium, but not much by the run blocking. And Winslow was faster. He's only a little bit stronger. And Winslow was only like 160k because no one is getting his power up. Like his power up is like 900 coins. Granted, Tony G's power up is about 1k, but Tony G. I mean, Winslow does not have this NFL 100 card. It's going for 200k. Like the only other card that Winslow has. Is this card right here? You see the 91 overall, and this card I got for about 25,000 coins, and that's that's compared to a 94 overall that is going for 200,000 coins. So let's add that up real quick. So this guy is going for 200k, plus this guy is going for basically 300k. So 300 plus 200, that's 500k. That's already half a million coins, half of my budget right now, plus his power, which is like 501, plus all the training that it costs to get him to a gold 99. So yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not about to pay half a mil plus more for a tight end. I can get a tight end that can definitely get the job done and is a significant upgrade over my current tight end for about less than 200k. So that's why we got Winslow. And the dude's an absolute beast. So he'll definitely get the job done. And um, as an update to house rules, we are uh, we finished the grind. We already got our 30 wins, as you can see right here. It says 85, but that's only because... See, it says 30 for 35. Now, I might go for the 35 just to get 100 extra trophies. You see, I'm currently at 145. If I boost that to 245, I'll be able to afford a touchdown pack, which will be an easy 65,000 coins. Just keep stacking those coins real quick. And, uh, yeah. So, you see, we already have 30 wins, so we have a free 98 overall. We have these that equal a two, 
that equal two free 97 overalls, one from house rules, one for playing the solo challenges. So we have two free 97s, and we have a free 98 overall player. As you can see, I have a seven own open packs. And this right here, the nat two through five, that's a 98. This is like other random overalls. I don't know what these are, but these are also from house rules and solo challenges. So yeah, we'll have a bunch of packs to open on draft night. Now, I'll make my video going over the best 97 overall hero to pick uh, soon. I might do it after draft night so I can just do like one whole collective video. So we can include the 97s, we can include the 2 through 5. So like after the draft happens, it'll be more convenient to go ahead and get the video done because we already know uh, who got drafted at what pick. So yeah, let's go ahead and create Kellen Winslow real quick. But first, we're going to have to go over to Jared Cook, downgrade him. Low key, as soon as I even thought of getting Kellen Winslow to replace him, the dude started playing out of his mind. Like in online, like where I was grinding house with this guy, he was playing out of his mind. He was catching, catching various balls, pause. He was breaking tackles, fighting for extra yards. Like he did not want to go, but sadly, he will, because low key, he sucks. So yeah. X Factor gone, ability gone, ability gone, ability gone, scheme, you're gone. So yeah, now he's a 92 overall. And he's absolutely pointless at this point. Like a 92, like he sucks. So we're just going to get all the training that we can from him. Let's go over to program. And we already have 3,000, so it should be enough. We go over to, uh, where's the gauntlet at? Where's gauntlet, gauntlet, gauntlet? Is that here? Here it is. Gauntlet. All right, so we have three items. We have the expert token because we did all of uh, the gauntlet three. And we have the upgrade token which we can sell right now for 12,000 training, which is a pretty good value if you ask me. Like 12,000 training for just grinding the game plus 4,000. I'll take it. So let's get this 4,000 real quick. So we have 21,000 training. So it's invalid lineup. Obviously, we're going to get that fixed right quick. With Kellen Winslow. Let's go over to tight end. And I already have all his pieces bought. You see his 91, his 97. And his power up is right here. Let's go ahead. If 21k doesn't cover it, then I don't even know, man. I guess we'll just have to go ahead and buy some more training. But I just, I just have to say, like, it just feels so good to have over a million coins. Like, I've been having, like... Like, around, like, past Maddens, I've had, like, 100,000 coins, 200,000 coins, maybe, like, three or four times throughout the entire year for, like, Madden 16, 17, 18. Madden 19, I had it, like, a little bit more frequently, but Madden 20, like, this Madden, I've been sticking around, like, 300, 400k for, like, the entire year. Now, it's finally good that I am a millionaire. We're gonna stay there. We're not just gonna blow all of it. We're just gonna keep saving. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get a golden ticket in the future. Uh, but not Crave on LeBlanc, though, because I can put low key. All I need is, like... I think about like 400k more and I could get uh, Cravon LeBlanc because he sucks. He's the worst one. But uh, yeah. Oh, 8k? Okay. Just take all my... Oh, 7k. I'll just take it all. Just take it all. Now we can't even get physical camps, bro. Bro, 7k and 8k. They just took 15k from me, bro. Oh my goodness, man. Let's, look, let's check out his front art real quick. Uh, I'm not going to pay for front art. That's insane. Uh, this one's cool. Eh. I like... The Ultimate Legend one looks good. I like that one. Versatile. Physical. Let's go and give him this one. I like this one. Got the retro helmet. What's that called? Like the Riddle TK helmet. So we got Chargers, because the only team he played for. I was hoping that he played for another team, but you nope, know, just Chargers. So let's go ahead and add Go Deep times four. Go ahead and maximize his thing. So we're gonna have to go ahead and quick self more training to get Sprinter. Because EA just took just took 20k and had no problems at all. Just gonna rip 20k from my account like okay all right yeah do what you want actually let's go ahead and quick sell all those free players that we got um with the gridiron rewards like these 94 90 93s are completely useless i will have no use for them on the squad ever so that's 17k or 1700 so now we can get physical chems where is he he's a 98 so he should be up here yeah there he is all right so go d times four let's go ahead and add that physical chem Go D times four physical sprinter. Yes, sir. Alright, now let's check out his abilities. I might low key I might throw some abilities on him. Now, I don't know about this wait, where is it? Right here, tank. Does this work? Because if it does, this seems like a very good ability. Like breaks his stick tackles. Like that is really good. Like only for less than a thousand training and he breaks his stick tackles. I might have to try this because this seems too good to be true. Like, I don't think it's going to do anything, but if it does, then this is a great value because you have to have an 85 break tackle 
And I think Winslow has like what an 88, 89. He has an 88, 89 break tackle. So you need an 88 in order to unlock. Uh, I mean 85. What am I saying? You need an 85 <laughs> overall break tackle to unlock Tank. Now I'm looking gonna put that on him and try him. We're gonna try out uh, ability. So I'll probably put Tank on him. Superstar just put double me. Uh, first slot. Let's see. What does he get? Uh, cross specialist, in specialist, post, double move. Eh. Let's just put. Probably put matchup nightmare number one. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't know if I will uh, yet. But probably put matchup nightmare number one. Um, tank number two and number three probably put maybe red zone threat. I don't know. Out corner elite. We'll see. Like if we we'll put abilities on him. Leap. He gets leapfrog. Are you serious? He's a tight end. He gets leapfrog. That is absolutely insane, bro. Dude's gonna be running around here just jumping like, bruh, like Mario, like out here, bruh. Bro, this is not Nintendo Mario Brothers. Like, come on now. Bro, he is. Bro, but this guy, let's go ahead and promote him to starter. This guy should be an absolute monster right now. Does he go up to 99? He doesn't. Really? Oh, he does. Let's go. Let's go. Kellen Winslow. Look at those stats, Yen. 99 spectacular catch. 93 speed. 92 excel. Let's go, man. 95 CIT. 96 catching. 97 short. 91 medium. That run block is atrocious, but we got George Kittle. In the booth, ready to come on out. So yeah, man, we got five ninety, well, six ninety nine. If you count Shazier. So yeah, man, we just went ahead, picked up Kellen Winslow. I think will be a great addition to the squad, and you see it boosted our office up to ninety seven. So that's a very good sign. And we have a million coins to spend, so we should be able to get like a ninety eight, ninety seven overall team if we keep stacking them coins and don't just blow it all, um, not wisely. So yeah, this is pretty much what the lineup is looking like right now. If you just were wondering, uh, we got Tori Staley. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it's looking like. And here's the defense. We got Shazier, Kennard. Now, I I know every single Mutt team in existence right now has Jadavion Connie at number one. But I'm just waiting because when Lawrence Taylor releases his Ultimate Legend, everyone who has Jadavion Clowney is going to be completely invalid. Because Lawrence Taylor's Ultimate Legend is going to be is going to break the game. I'm just going to say that. It's just going to break the game. So when he gets released, that's when I'll get... Uh, Lawrence Taylor up to like a what? He'd probably be like a 98. So like I'll get him to 99. Easily. That's why I want to uh, keep coins. Cause like when Lawrence Taylor gets an upgrade, and when uh, Randy Moss gets their Ultimate Legends. Like Randy Moss is literally going up by like two overalls right now on my team because he's getting boosted so much. So yeah. When Taylor and Moss get their upgrades, it's an automatic like upgrade to my squad. They automatically have their starting positions waiting for them. And I want to go over my video on with the best 97s. I'm probably going to get rid of Sean Taylor because, spoiler alert, I'm probably going to get Darno Savage because that dude is a monster. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the lineup is looking like real quick. Uh, yeah, definitely could be better in some positions. Like I said, right outside linebacker, free safety. Left outside linebacker, I'm not sure what I could do. I could get Kevin Green or Jerome Baker. Those are the two I'm debating on right now. It's either Jerome Baker, Kevin Green, or I could wait for a future one. So I'm not sure what I should do right now. Yes, yeah, so what the team is looking like. We went ahead, got Kellen Winslow. The dude is an absolute monster. Just gonna see how he performs. And uh, yeah, we might even try that tank ability on him. So yeah, that's um pretty much what the lineup is looking like. We got Kellen Winslow. And so uh, yeah, it's pretty much gonna do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace out.